So YouTube, Facebook, guys, stop comparing yourself and your spouse to other people, and especially other people you don't know. See, this is the thing with social media, and this is why so many relationships are being ruined. So many uh, people have so many people have low self-esteem. Everybody wants to look the same. Everybody wants to act the same. Everybody wants to be the same. No one wants to be original. Very few people want to be original. And I'm going to tell you why, and this is one of the worst things that you can do, is when you start comparing yourself to other people. When you start comparing your spouse, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, even people that have kids to other people that you don't know, just based off a, 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 a image that you see. Oh, I wish she looked like that. I wish he looked like that. I wish he had this. I wish he had that. But guys, that's just what you see. That's just the outside. You don't you don't know what comes with the whole package. So when you have someone in your life, let's say you have a you have a, a a a girlfriend or a wife, and you see other women, right? Because this is temptation, okay? Oh, I wish I wish I wish she looked like that. But you have this woman that that loves you, take care of you, okay? Do the things that she needs to do to take care of you, cook for you, clean for you. When you're sick, she takes care of you. You know, help out. You know, whatever your 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 household, like me and my wife. She pays her bills. I pay my bills. She has her business. I support her. She supports me. We take care of the kids. We have two kids. That we do what we have to do as a married marriage um, or married couple. But when you start when you start comparing your your spouse to based off things that you see, but you let's so let's say right let's say because no one's perfect. Let's say that eighty twenty rule. Okay, eighty percent. It's great. The other 20% is flaws, okay? But let's say you get that 20%, but you lose that 80%. And that's what a lot of people do. They are so attracted to the 20%, they don't realize they're going to miss out on the 80%. So you got this person that looks great, okay? They look good, beautiful, but that 80% that your spouse does for you, that person doesn't do. And this is this is happening so much because of social media. People want to look the same. Every woman want to have a slim waist. Okay, big butt. Everybody wants to look the same. That's not how God created you. And what that does, when I see that, it tells me that a lot of you have low self-esteem. You don't even know who you are. Everyone, everybody got to have the same shape nose, the same shape lips, the same the same color eyes, the same color hair. I mean, when I look at social media, Instagram, I'm like, damn, all these people look the same. They all dress the same, buy the same exact clothes. No one's original anymore. Nobody. And the reason why, man, is because a lot of you have lost your own, you, you have lost your own identity. You don't even know who you are anymore because you're too busy looking at how someone else looks. Glory, I mean, and, and what makes it so sad? We glory, you glorify this, you glorify this, man. Like, for example, I have two girls, right? And I see, I see people, um, especially women, they put their daughters in beauty pageants, and I, and I always ask myself, why do I have to put my daughter in a beauty pageant to some for someone to judge her on how well she looks? Why do you, why would you put your daughter in a beauty pageant for someone to tell her how good she looks? And guess what happens when your daughter comes in second, third place, or or or, or down, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh? What happens that tells them they're not good enough based off other people's opinions? Because someone says, "Oh, she doesn't now she doesn't look good, better than that person." We're gonna get that that little girl first place. What does that do? To those little girls. Now they're not good enough. That's what's wrong with this world, man. A lot of you have to change your way of thinking about yourself. And stop caring about what other people think about you. I am who I am. The way I look is how I look. Okay? I don't I haven't changed anything about me. I don't have the best body. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm I, I would consider myself overweight. 
I'm not the most chiseled, nice looking guy in the world. But guys, again, it doesn't matter to me because I know who I am. Okay, this is how God created me. Okay, this is this is me, how God wanted me to look. We're all beautiful. We all because you, you know you, you know when you when you're beautiful, you know that because you know who you are. You don't have to change that for nobody. Guys, stop 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 comparing yourself. Stop comparing your 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 wife. Stop comparing your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend to other people that I mean again and because and then when you when you start comparing yourself to other people and, and, and your spouse or your other half know this, what do you think that do to them? It, it now it tells them, just like that little girl in that beauty pageant, it, it, it tells them they're not good enough. Okay? Because when people when people have these uh let's say someone let's say uh, uh women okay because th this is since the bible time this is since you know the biblical days um a woman who knows she looks good she's this one i mean women who are so beautiful other women <laughs> say you know she's beautiful all right and a woman you know who can be so beautiful she can use that to her advantage to get what she wants so what do you so so when you fall for that when you fall for that little, that little, that little portion of who she is as a as a whole, just because she looks good, just that little 10, 15 percent, and you fall for that, well, what do you think she's going to do? She's going to use that to her advantage to get what she wants. And well, guess what's going to happen? I see it all the time when someone has more than you. What do you think is going to happen, guys? She's going to drop you and go to the next one. Now, I'm not saying all women, all women who who, who are, you know, um, who have certain looks do that. But it is real. And there are women who use that to their advantage. They use their bodies, their shapes, their looks to get what they want. Okay. And you, here you are. You got something and she wants it. She's going to use that to her advantage. And then, again, nine out of ten. When she sees someone else that has more than you, who are you? Because you fell for that little 10, 15% when you could have had 80%. Okay? 80% and it had nothing to do with looks. Someone who loves you, someone who cares about you, someone who wants to grow with you. That's why I love me and my wife's relationship. Because when we both met, we had nothing. Neither one of us even had a car. She was driving her mom's car because she had just moved from Detroit. Her mom's car got repoed, and I was driving my mom's truck. Neither one of us had nothing. She was living in an apartment, okay, mattress on the floor. I was I was sleeping on the, on on, <laughs> on my mom's couch, but we grew together. Was it a great? Was it a per? No, nothing's perfect. It wasn't a perfect train. We just turned around and, you know, we have a business and we have a home and, you know, we're we're living a, a decent life for ourselves and our kids. But I love that because we was able to grow together. We was able to grow together. You know, it's like people they have all this stuff, they have all this money, and then when you get, you know, it's like, oh, I want I want a man. You hear women say, I want a man with a bunch of money. But again, what makes you different? Because you have that 10 to 15% looks, and then guess what's going to happen on the flip side? What, what, what What's going to happen when he finds someone that looks better than you? What do you think is going to happen? So that's my little spiel for the guys, for the day, guys. Stop looking at the small percentage, okay? Find yourself. Be yourself, okay? Stop looking for approval of other people, of who you are as a person. Okay, when you know who you are, what you stand for, that's the only thing that matters. Okay, that's the only thing that matters. Be unique and be yourself.